Hey, Vinyl Community, Jeff here with a update on a couple albums that I got in recently. These are new releases, two of which are first time on vinyl reissues, and one of which is a brand new uh, release from a band. And uh, so, yeah, let's get into this. Uh, these are, this first one, if you've never heard of this band, they've been around for a little while, but maybe they've slipped under the radar because, you know, if you're not into other stuff, but Kill Devil Hill. Now, I remember I discovered Kill Double Hill. This is their second album. Not sure why that's the first one that came out on vinyl. Their first album came out in 2012. Now, the big draw for that for me is the fact that it's got Vinny Apice on drums. So, on the first album, he was there. The main, the main stay of the band, even though... So, he was on the first and second album, but not the third album, which came out in 2023. So, first album 2012, second album 2013, 10 years later... The band continues on, but not with Vinny on drums. So I haven't heard the new album, actually. The mainstay of the band is Dewey Bragg on vocals. He's been on all three. And uh, Mark Zavon, I guess, on guitar. Um, they've done some other stuff, but I didn't find anything real major to, to note about them. Of course, we know Vinny. He's been in, well, it says here, Dio, Black Sabbath, and lots and lots of other bands over the years. The band has also had uh, Matt Schnell. He's at the, he's currently in the band. He did some time in Five Finger Death Punch um, and some other bands that I'm not as familiar with. Um, they used to have uh, Rex Brown. He did some time in Pantera, uh, but he I think yeah he's on this album. So, but he's not in the new lineup. So anyway, the band has had some people come and go. This is their second album. Kind of a straight up heavy metal, modern heavy metal. Um, not, you know, it, it's got a, a time slightly aggressive, not too harsh, but you know, I would almost say not that this one doesn't have the guy, but um, yeah, I don't know. Some are like, I don't want to compare it at all to Five Finger Death Punch, but but once I heard about the new lineup having that guy, I said, you know, I can see a little bit of that. Not not the, the more aggressive stuff, but just edgier like that, like modern hard rock and metal so anyway yeah this came out first time on vinyl it is on orange and let's see it's pretty so this is on uh no life to metal this is one of scott waters releases it's a century media release originally um it was produced by jeff pilson of doc and fame foreigner fame bands like that um yeah so good stuff no life to metal records and this just came in recently on vinyl another one that came out similar uh not similar in that but similar uh in in some of the publishing was um brother kane i was not as familiar with brother kane but i did pick up their previous album i showed it when it came out on first time on vinyl this is the first time on vinyl the band released three albums uh and then they kind of broke up this is their 1998 their final album but they are back together. They haven't recorded anything, but they've been on and off again for years. But apparently, look, it's also on Orange. Um, and they have been apparently still active. Uh, the other one I forget, was it their first or second? But uh, yeah, modern. This these are this is a 90s band, but you know, kind of an alt rock, alternate rock, uh, you know, heavy, not, not really grunge or anything. Just that kind of, those bands that appeared in those days it had that kind of a sound more of a modern hard rocking sound so yeah since i picked up the other electric yellow vinyl since i picked up oh that number one rock radio hit i lie in the bed i make maybe you're familiar with that song i never paid much attention to these guys back then but when i heard them online and you know when i saw these coming out i thought yeah i'm gonna grab those check out some of the i, I kind of zoned out in the 90s i missed a lot of this stuff so wanted to grab some of that now this new one this one is a uh, new album from Vanek. Vanek, if you're familiar, I've shown all their stuff previously. They're from Cleveland, Ohio. They're kind of listed in some categories as a speed metal thrash band. To me, they've got more almost of a, a, a slight punkish flair. Not, They're not straight up metal. At times they are, but they're a little more I don't even know how to put it. Go online and check them out. But this album is actually, uh, it is, it's called Four. I'm trying to see if it was in here. The album Four. So they had three albums before, which I have all of those. I discovered them 
in the uh, in the metalhead box that I used to get years ago, and they sent me, I think, the third album. So I went back and picked them up. They're very, of course, horror based. They have a lot of. They've done some some sound effects type horror, Halloween type uh, or you know uh, uh, haunted type stuff. They've got some recordings that are just. Um, like I said, they're, they're really kind of got a lot of stuff based on that. But when it comes to the actual albums they do, the four that they've done, it's just really kind of, you know, cool, hard rocking, you know, at times fast. But it, I don't like the term speed metal. I mean, maybe they're a little fast, but they, they to me, they're, they're, they're just really hard rocking. Um, and, you know, just they got a, a different feel altogether for me. Um, I really enjoyed them. Um, this comes with this. The insert is a fold-out looking thing here, as you can see. And I've got some of. They've had seven inches, and they've released all kinds of stuff with stickers and stuff. And this has got a purple-ish vinyl here. But anyway, yeah, heavy but not super aggressive, like extreme metal or anything like that. They're just like a heavy, heavy hard rock. Check them out. They've got stuff online, and you can you know check them out. This is their fourth album, and so if you're you get into them you have to catch up four albums lots and lots of different singles lots and lots of they have a cassette that's got all kinds of cool stuff on it which is kind of an album in itself i don't know it's uh anyway lots of stuff you can find online on bandcamp and everything but fun stuff that's it though just three new releases on vinyl that maybe you're not aware of because they are a little more underground and uh great stuff though check them out and i'll see you later rock on and rock hard